our piano world at Southampton is a very friendly one. I was given this instrument at a dinner party. It's a square piano built in London by Christopher Gaynor in 1781. And people are always fascinated by the number of creatures that have to die to make one of these. Elephants, first of all, of course, for the ivory keys. Deer for the buckskin-covered hammers. For the dampers, only elk hide will do, because only elk get cold enough to have hide thick enough. And for the damper springs, the mighty whale. These are whalebone. Unfortunately, the strings are made of several different metals. Iron, brass, copper, and then these wound ones in the base. And they all have different coefficients of expansion, so the piano goes out of tune in several different ways at once. Instead of a sustaining pedal, it has two levers. One lever raises the dampers from middle C upwards, and the other lever raises them from middle B downwards. So you can only change the pedal if you happen to have a hand free. But luckily the composers were clever enough to realise that. Here's Johann Christian Bach showing off in his first piano sonata. He wants to have a semitone grace note which might blur. But because the main note is middle C, the B doesn't blur because its damper is not raised. Best of all, it was this tiny instrument that inspired the world's first piano concertos, with an orchestra of just two violins and a cello, but real concertos nonetheless. One of the first recordings I made here at Southampton was of a selection of these concertos. The novelist Jane Austen had a Gaynor Square piano. Chawton, the village where she lived, is not far away, and Southampton has a close relationship with Chawton House Library, an international centre for research on women's writing, in the country house where Jane's brother lived. In fact, we keep one of our early grand pianos at Chawton House, and our students often go over there to give concerts on it. A square piano like this is perfect for accompanying those gentle period instruments, like wooden flutes. Ashley Walls and I have been looking at J.C. Bach's flute sonatas. That's just one example of how our many historical keyboard instruments give Southampton staff and students the chance to explore unfamiliar musical worlds together.